These are the Kelpies. If you've ever looked up Scotland on Instagram or TikTok, the chances are you've seen them around. But what's the story? What are Kelpies? Why are they here? And what do they want? Welcome to Scotland Unplugged and the tale of Scotland's mythical murderous water horses. Easy for me to say. Take a trip along the Forth and Clyde Canal, a 19th century waterway connecting east and west. Or drive along a more modern thoroughfare, the M9 motorway, and eventually you won't be able to miss them, rearing up at you from the horizon. Designed and constructed by the sculptor Andy Scott, they tower over you at 100 feet. But why aren't they just called horses? Kelpies are mythical shape-shifting water spirits. They're said to live around rivers and sometimes lochs in Scotland where they'll try every trick in the book to lure you to a watery grave. In one story, a group of children skip church one Sunday. They go to play next to a nearby river. That's always going to end well. They hear the hooves behind them and turn, thinking they've been caught but they realise there's no rider, only the most beautiful horse they've ever seen. A horse that kneels down, enticing them to climb on his back. They're kids, skipping church, living their best lives. Why not? So they climb aboard. Seven of them manage to get onto the horse's back. A back that almost seems to grow when another child joins. An eighth child, the smallest of them looks on. He's transfixed, but he knows something's not quite right. He can't help himself. He reaches out and touches the horse, but a strange feeling grabs him. He almost can't resist. Almost. But then he pulls out his knife and cuts off his own finger. As the horse thunders away, taking the other seven children into the loch for lunch. There are numerous stories about the Kelpies who don't always take the form of a horse. They can shapeshift into a human form. Sometimes they're seen as a young, handsome man when they want to entice young women. Sometimes as an older man. And sometimes they appear as a sort of hairy guy who attacks travellers. Victorian painters like to portray them as nude women for some reason. In human form, their hair is entwined with seaweed or kelp, which kind of makes them a bit easier to spot. If you can take the horse by the bridle, or if you can throw on your own bridle, one with a crucifix, it's said that the kelpie is yours to control, and that they have the strength of ten horses. I mean, that is a pretty high-risk strategy, but no guts, no glory. Legend has it that the McGregor clan have a bridle they took from a Kelpie that they passed down through the generations. The Kelpie's goal is remarkably consistent. Human flesh. Like a lot of folk tales, the meaning's probably fairly straightforward. Stay away from the water and handsome men and probably 19th century painters. And don't skip church. It's a bit of a weird location for a mythical creature though. Falkirk has quite a backstory of its own. We'll get into some of the older stuff in a later video that I'm currently editing about William Wallace. But more recently it was an industrial powerhouse. It sits at the heart of the country, at the junction of the Forth and Clyde and Union Canals. It was at the heart of the iron and steel industry. Like Glasgow, it was known for engineering, manufacturing, stuff we don't really do to the same extent these days. For a while, it really had seen its best days. Something was needed here, a focus for the area, something to pull in the tourists, and some cash. They are the biggest equine sculptures in the world, but they were nearly only three metres high. Andy Scott presented this maquette behind me to the council who were very happy until he explained it was just a model and the real versions would be 10 times the size. They still wanted the 3 metre version. The full sized killer horses were a bit pricier but eventually after some campaigning they secured lottery funding 
and brought these monsters to life. They're quite a feat of engineering. Construction began in 2013 and it took only 90 days to put the 30,000 piece jigsaw puzzle together. But from development to completion, it took 3,285 days. Like their mythical counterparts, they're pretty enticing. As good as they look right now though, you should come back in the dark.